the club has been in a great place. It's like all rugby clubs, it's had ups and downs. But the last five or six years, we've seen growth. Well, I think Queen's is brilliant as a club altogether for you get to meet people, um, especially around student life. So I made a lot of friends through the first 15 um, and carried that through in the, in the university. It's um, also really, really good in, in progressing your rugby career, getting to challenge yourself against bigger clubs and all Ireland League and Division 2A and, and you know, playing with boys that maybe end up uh, being professionals in the future. So I only started playing Ladies Rugby whenever I joined Queen's and I, my background was always in hockey but I decided to try something different whenever I joined university. It's really been a key thing in like developing who I am as a person throughout my university experience and has like developed all my key skills such as like leadership and communication and it really enhanced my CV. <laughs> Some incredible memories from playing for Queen's. I played here for two years, back in 2002, 2003. Probably one of my best, most embarrassing standout moments was the time that I turned up in Ballina with two left boots and ended up having to play the second half actually with the two left boots on, but scored a try. So I'm very proud of that. They gave me a, a lost and found boot that was so uncomfortable that actually the left boot ended up being more comfortable on my right foot. So that's something that every time I turn up to Queen's, they all like to remind me of. We're having a gala dinner, which is going to celebrate all 150 years of excellence of rugby. And we're gonna have a wonderful occasion to really set off and finish off our 150th year.